I hear there's rumors on the uh, internet. Do you know the website number? I... Here we are exclusively for the internets. This is the after show party we have here on the White House Brief. Late read. Now, th- this is when we run out of time in the regular show. We decide to come back here and we're just going to hang out. I'm here with you, Paul Westcott host of the White House Brief, here with the executive producer of the Brief, Berkeley Wilson, and our special correspondent and lovely producer, Tracy Bratton. Now, there's two stories we didn't get to on today's show that I really wanted to talk about. Well, I mentioned at the end this woman who fed a bear and it ate her. Uh, I'm sorry, that's not... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, okay. She, I'm not going to be... I don't mean to be that She went to feed a bear. No, way. The bear ended up eating her? Let me tell the the story here. Um, uh, Apparently, this woman, Donna Munson... Oh. Um, died trying to help this little bear. She was trying to help a baby bear. There's a picture of her. There is a picture. It's really a sad story. How little is the bear? So the bear had a bear, apparently been roughed up in a bear brawl, uh, suffered some <laughs> broken teeth, wow. and you know was uh, she saw it was in pain, and so she went out to help it, and uh, she put out some food for it, some hard boiled eggs and milk for the younger bear to eat. Uh, this is according to the victim's son in law. And then the mm. bear, uh, apparently the mama bear, showed up while she was putting oh, no. it out. And oh, uh, no. it grabbed her and it, it took her took it her about 90 seconds to just kill her. Where it did this happen? so horrible. Alaska? In, uh, no, Colorado, believe it or not. Ure, wow. Colorado. Yeah, big, big bears there. Absolutely. Mm. So, lesson learned, don't feed bears. You know, wow. This was a 250-pound bear. I'm sorry, the 250-pound bear was the small bear, and it was a 400-pound male bear that actually killed her. So oh. it was Papa Bear. Wow. So very scary, very sad. So uh, le- lesson learned, even if you see a wounded bear, please don't help it. On well, a 250-pound get... bear versus a 74-year-old woman. 74-year-old woman. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to get flack, I know, from uh, from groups on this, but you can't. Don't feed bears. Don't help bears. Don't go near bears. Call people. Call police when you see a bear. All right. Here we are. The story I really wanted to get to, and Tracy, you're going to help me out with this one because this is uh, this is very much your world. You know entertainment stuff, a hell of a lot more than I do. Miley Cyrus pole dancing um, performance that sparks a lot of criticism. Now, the thing about Miley Cyrus, for those of you who don't know, she's like a young. Um, she's 16. Well, when the, she's 16, um, and it's funny here in Newsday, I'm reading they're they're comparing her to. Uh, took another st- step along the Britney Spears career track. Now, that's a little mean. I mean, come on. She's far beyond the uh, well, success level Britney Spears was at 16. That is very true. That's a good point. But, I mean, uh, uh, the the whole story here is that she went to the Teen Choice Awards last night. Um, did she get an award? She won several awards. Her television show, Hannah Montana. She won for acting in that show. Her single, her movie. She won multiple awards in multiple categories. All right. Oh, and here's more. Here's more news day. I'm sorry. I'm just reading that fact now. It says pole dancing performance, Teen, Teen Choice Awards. That some say was more like Debbie Does Dallas than Hannah Montana. <laughs> I don't even Whoa. think Paul okay. that it was so much the actually the actual performance that was so risque as much as the photographs that were taken at exactly the right moment. Right. So, to be quite honest with you, I mean, I watched the performance and it was odd to have Miley up on top of an ice cream cart with a pole without an umbrella. I do agree with that. However, she, I mean, she, you know, it wasn't like she was writhing up against the pole in an exotic dancer sort of form. There was just one moment where, you know, there were some probably strategically paced, placed photographers that got a picture of her, you know, squatting, holding the pole. Okay. But the entire performance... Well, was pretty harmless. Gotcha. Now, but let me ask you, do you think, do you think, I mean, obviously everything she does, especially in such a public venue, especially by something that's going to be picked up by news organizations around the world, do you think that she is actually going to, you know, she's going to be strategic in this. She's going to be smart and say, maybe this is what my next step needs to be. I need to give myself some edge. I need to move. These kids who've loved me are turning now 15, 16, 17 Maybe they want a little bit more something, something, you know, and they want the stripper pole. I mean, I think there certainly comes a time in any young starlet's career where she has to kind of embrace her sexuality. I just think she, you know, she maybe wait two years. I agree. I think she was a little too young to do this. But, you know, Berkeley, did you see the video? I did. I saw the video like everybody else. And what did you think? Um, <laughs> I, you know, great. Do you think she of... looked like a, a stripper? No. 
Okay. No, I don't All think right. she. I think she looked like a performer. She did. And I think in context, you see it. And like Tracy said, it was very short. So sure. Miley's a superstar. She really is. She's just a- anything you do with Miley Cyrus is really just out of this world. All right. And she debuted that new single, which actually I thought was pretty good. It was pretty good. She made, you know, references to Britney Spears and Michael Jackson. And um, she did. Yeah. She Her voice actually impressed me, too. I was well, slightly pleasantly surprised absolutely. with Miley. Well, we're going to track her down. We're going to keep an eye on Miley Cyrus here on the White House Brief Late Read. And uh, that's basically it. That's all we got. I wonder this what is, she thinks about healthcare reform. This is the after show. The White House Brief Late Read. You know, we, we're just having fun here. What she thinks about healthcare. All right. I bet she could get a special scholarship. <laughs> Check us out. Check out everything here on the blog down below. White House Brief. Uh, what is it? iHeartRadio.com keyword WHB. I'm Paul West. Gotta keep them separated.